Good afternoon, my name is Gloria and today I will be representing a, very, a beautiful social business called Swissleg. In Swissleg, we believe that walking is a basic human right that should be affordable to everyone everywhere. Unfortunately, this is not the case for 24 million amputees that live in, in the developing world who have no access to adequate prosthesis because either they are very expensive or they are cheap but they are poor quality. Swissleg provides affordable, high-mobility prosthesis, bringing people from crutches actually to walking and even running. The, we count for three key innovations, in, uh, both in our product and in our process. So we are incorporating aligning from the beginning, molding all the components into a single piece, and we, we are using polypropylene, who is, which is, has low cost and is light and flexible. These uh, properties makes our uh, prosthetic limb better, our manufacturing process faster, and allows us to have like a low cost also to, to reach our target population who, which are, uh, who are in the developing countries. There are also alternative technologies. So we have the bionic, but it is too expensive. The low cost, who, which is, has like quality problems, and actually it is the standard, but they have like both problems. So in comparison, our, our uh, product like, is competitive in durability and mobility, but uh, more than that, we have lower manufacturing costs, so we have a lower price, uh, and our fitting time is just three hours, so people can come to the workshop and actually live with a new leg. We have a, a very a passionate team and competent. So our CEO, Paulo, he has a PhD from MIT and has more than 15 years experience in the uh, consultancy. Our CTO, Mohammed, has more than 20 years of uh, orthoprosthetic experience and he's actually the inventor of the technology. Our CEO, Roberto, has uh, 20 years in business and humanitarian experience. And me, I'm an um, industrial engineer. Uh, I have also experience as an entrepreneur in Colombia. We come with two business models. So the first one is basically uh, using a franchise to, to, to reach like the patients. And the second one is uh, developing partnerships with humanitarian organizations uh, who will have like their own partnership with local clinics. And this will be like our bridge to uh, uh, reach the patients. Uh, in the last year, we have been able to have some achievements. So the first, we have filed a patent, uh, and we already have some uh, claims partially accepted. Uh, we obtained a trademark, and we be uh, CTI certified. But most importantly, we have been able to, to, to change 250 lives. Uh, currently, we are in, Niger uh, sorry, in Syria, Jordan, and Iraq. And we are planning to grow to Nigeria, Ghana, Mozambique, South Africa, Cambodia, and Vietnam in, in partnership with the humanitarian organization you can see on the uh, left-hand side. We have also been able to raise some funding basically from uh, awards and prizes uh, for the Venture Key Contest in, in Switzerland and for a convertible loan. But we are looking for more funds in order to be able to scale up and actually uh, accomplish our growing strategy. We have also received, these are like some of the awards and recognition we have received and the media was we have been able to raise. The last message I want to leave you today is like really the social impact that we are creating. So it's not only that we are helping amputees, but also their caregivers. We are building local capacity in the developing countries because we are creating jobs and we are providing training uh, to, to our employees. And this is a, very, a highly scalable model that we can basically reach uh, uh, worldwide. These are like some examples of the people that we have been able to help. We have been, uh, we have been helping even children. So this is the story like of Mariam. She's uh, 12 years old and she lost her leg during the Syria war. So now in our, in, in our uh, workshop in, in Jordan, she was able to get a new leg. Actually, this is a copy of the leg like uh, she's having right now. And Thank you very much. This is Le Swiss Leg, and this is how we change lives. Thank you very much, Gloria. Uh, judges, if you have any questions, please.
Go on. Yeah, uh, if you can give us a little bit more color in terms of marketing and how you reach your, 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 your customers. Okay, we have been evolving like during this business model because at the beginning we wanted to reach them directly. However, if we want to scale the business, we understood that we needed partnerships. So now we are focusing more like uh, achieving, uh, reaching humanitarian organizations. So currently we are working in Iraq and Syria with IOM, uh, the International Organization of Migration. And, and we have, uh, for the moment, just one uh, franchise like in Jordan, but the idea is like to grow. Any other question? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.